what we're going to do today is we're going to showcase this new device that we just got in uh, Vancouver. It's called the Clarius Ultrasound um, Wireless Device. So, I'm going to talk about unboxing it quickly. It's a very small device, weighs about two pounds in this box. Comes with a quick start guide. And inside here, we have the little device. It's nicely packaged, as you can see. And this is all that it is. This is the wireless device. So I've pre-charged the battery, but as you can see here is the battery that comes out. And there's another battery, which is a second one, so you can continue to charge it. Apparently this gives you about 45 minutes off. The reason they do it like this is this entire unit is submersible. So you can clean it just like this, put it in a, in a solution to clean it. The okay, so let's see if this is as simple as they say it is. So, first, you need the app on your iPad. Let's just start our internet and log in. And then we're going to go to the Clarius app, okay? Let's type in our password. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So that was simple enough. Okay, so now we have to connect the device. So the connection, we click start, it says not connected. So a message should pop up now saying what our Wi-Fi password should be to connect the scanner. There we go, see? So you need to switch to the direct Wi-Fi and that's the password already copied into the clipboard. So we get out of it. So it's, I know that this can take some time in a, in a recess or something, but um, you can pre-do it and you can have someone else do it while everyone's doing chest compressions. And we just paste, paste. And that's it. Now we should see a light connecting. There's our probe. And we are connected. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, we're going to do your abdomen quickly. Alright, let's do some scanning. Okay. Okay. As you can see, this is very smooth real time. Yeah, you can see here's your we can adjust the gain and the depth. So, okay, here we have your kidney. Yeah. That's Morrison's pouch. There's your liver coming into view now. And we're also looking at lung here. We can get a better view on top. There's more of the liver and the kidney. Okay. And that there is the IVC. Now we're going to look at the spleen, and here we have the spleen, the kidney. You can adjust the gain here automatically, so you can move bigger, brighter, whatever you want. Back to automatic, make it bigger, depth smaller. We can zoom in or zoom out. We can look at his aorta. We're looking for his aorta. There's it. So there's his aorta and there's his superior mesenteric artery coming off there. Okay. There's his aorta. You can see. Okay. Lung scan technically should be performed in different zones. What you want to see is through the sliding. There's the pleura that's moving, and here we have A lines. These are horizontal A lines. So this is the pleura. Okay, Mandela, take a big breath in and hold it, and hold it, and you can see nothing moves there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now breathe normally. Now you can see there's movement artifact mm -hmm. there. Okay, so that's a decent image, and we can freeze it, and we can save it. Image captured. Now we can send this to the cloud later. Let's try a different protocol now, we'll quickly see if we can do some hard stuff. <laughs> from the abdomen to cardiac. So in a resuscitation, you want to know. There we go. You're alive. Why <laughs> didn't you know that? Short axis. Let's see if we can get a sub view. Ah, there we go. Good one. Okay, this is a simulated phased array, so it's not the, the best. Now 
Oh, that's a beautiful view of the... Decrease the depth, increase the As you see your valves. Yeah, those right. cool. And that's the, the thoracic aorta behind that. Okay, so you can see if there's fluid behind there, there's a pericardial effusion. So the, the ocular ultrasound is very really nice for um, retinal detachment. I'll show you now. And there's the eye, and there's the retina. See that? You see that? Mm -hmm. There's a lens. Yeah. There's his lens, there's the, the back of the eye. Difficult to get the optic nerve. Oh, there we go. There. So if you see a retinal detachment, you see that this there's stuff floating in here. So now you can measure the actual, you can measure the optic nerve. Okay, let's do that. So we can try and measure it. less than three, it's not three millimeters. So that means it's normal. You can also make a video, movie captured. Now that would be a loop that played from, from what we just did now. Mm -hmm. And we can submit to discard or cancel, and we'll discard it. That's it. Review of the clarity. So as you can see, it lasted for a, good, for a good exam. It's still not fat enough. We can put it off. So we can easily put the scanner off by going to fix the scanner icon and that's off and now his patient information if we put something in would be stored to the cloud could be accessed later and that's it and that's the the, the review of the